again. There's this guy that's named Tony and pretty much what he wants to do is he wants to grow his social media. He wants us to go out and like shoot some cool stuff for him for his Instagram and everything. And he said that he wanted to do it in Dubai. He's willing to pay for accommodation, transport and some of the food and stuff, even though everything else is paid for. I can't afford this, but let's go anyway. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you reckon they're compensating for something? Every time you look at the Burj Khalifa, you have to like look all the way up, hurts your neck. So looking at that big ass building over there, I was like, I need to get up this building and I need to get a photo up there. Like at least while I'm here, like when am I gonna ever come back to Dubai? Dude, can you explain to me why you're shooting um, a bell on a bike? I'm not, mate, I'm shooting through it. You gotta get, you gotta shoot through things, you know? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get up there, like you can go up to like one viewing deck, which is like the halfway point, and you can go up to the very top of it. But the very top is like really expensive. And because as I said before, I'm a broke ass YouTuber, I can't afford to go all the way up there. None of us could really. The very top one. Sir, the halfway is sold out. They try to check only online. What's the top one? The top one, if you'd like to go right now, is 525. After 5 30, it's 370. Come on, guys, I saw all your videos on YouTube. What's, What's that? that? You have bloggers, right? Yeah. 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 I saw your videos on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? The highest one. That other guy was just, if you're watching this, that guy. You're a legend. They had like all of this like security. I didn't know whether they were gonna confiscate my camera. You can take good photos on your iPhone and everything, but it's different when it's on a camera. Anyway, point was, I was freaking out. I wasn't freaking out. I don't need to exaggerate everything on YouTube. We ended up going through the metal detector and everything. That was all good. And we were just about to like go up, but then we were stopped and I was like, oh. And they were like, no, you can't have like this. You can't have like, and I thought that they were saying that like you can't have your camera at all. We've just spent all of this money we need to get this photo. We didn't know what was going on, but then eventually like they were like, okay, nah, just take off the microphone. That's fine. And then we got past all that. So we're actually on our way up. How fast does this elevator go again? It goes at um, seven. When we got into the elevator, it goes up so damn quickly. One floor, two floor, three floor, but ears are popping. Ended up going outside and man, the view was absolutely like out of this world. It was amazing. I've never been so high before. That's a lie. No, I'm joking. No, but I've never been up at that height before. I think that like, even though it's halfway, it's still like the tallest area that you can get to apart from everywhere else in the world. Maybe, I don't know. That's a complete generalization. I just like pulled that out of my ass just then. So that's probably not right. Anyway, I think it was like a sandstorm or something. So it was very like, hazy out in the distance and it wasn't it wasn't a clear day at all so you couldn't get any like really cool landscape photos what do we do about this like we've come all the way up here surely there's like at least one one good photo that we could get like, and it, uh, so many people take the same damn photo like they just like put their iPhone up against the glass and then just like yep that's the photo pretty much the goal of like us photographers like we want to do stuff that's different we want to shoot stuff that's different. We want to be original and that's pretty much what I wanted. Mike came up to me and he had this idea of like getting a random person to model because we're sick of having each other model. And like we, we're we not majestic looking at all. Like I, I don't, I'm not a good looking model. I'm like the most awkward looking model there is. Like when I get photos of myself, I'm like all stiff and I just look like I'm, I've got to stick up my ass or I'm, I'm constipated or something. It's just not. We wanted to ask a random girl to be the model for us, but when Mike said that to me, he was like, okay, like let's let's ask kind of thing. And probably about 20 minutes went by. I'm just like, dude, have you have you asked any girls yet? And he's like, nah, not yet. Like the, the right one hasn't come around kind of thing. He was making up all these excuses. And then he ended up saying to me that he's like kind of a bit like nervous about talking. I was just like going up to like one of the girls and just asking for a photo. It's not a big deal. Like what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is like they could reject you and judge you for the rest of your life. And, and yeah, and you just have to live with that. And then you just, you, yeah, it's just a constant stress for the rest of your life and you're never going to be able to live with yourself. 
that's just, that's the worst that could happen. But uh, like, uh, it got to the point where I was like, dude, like if you don't want to ask someone, I will. Like, I'm just going to go up. And then he like grabbed me. He's like, Hayden, no, I'm North Borders. I have to do it. <laughs> I felt kind of bad because her friend, the one with like the brown hair, she didn't get asked to model. It's awkward, you know? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, maybe just look out. Yeah, look nice. And like that, yeah? Mm. Would you could take it? It's a higher angle. She's very particular. <laughs> one foot, one of her as well. Both legs together. <laughs> Whereabouts are you girls from? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that photo's sick. What was she talking about? How is she not like really happy with that? So we went back and we edited and everything. And so this is the very first photo that we got. The very first photo was a landscape kind of photo. This was the best landscape photo that we could get without it like looking too hazy. But I actually think that the haze actually works to our advantage in this photo. Like it looks like it's just a glow in the distance, which I actually do kind of like. The water is like really cool because it contrasts against the city a lot. And then you have like the contrast of the blue sky against the city. So it's kind of balanced with the blue on the top and the blue on the bottom. But then the actual photo the photo that I actually genuinely liked the most out of all the photos we took today was the one of the model. The city is like sharp enough, but like it's out of focus a little bit, which I like because it brings a lot more of the attention onto the subject. What she's wearing also, it's perfect going with the actual location, everything. She's wearing damn Gucci flip-flops. Is, is that like a statement for like the Czech Republic? Are they supposed to be like, anyway. Anyway, I'd probably rate that, like in terms of the view and everything like that and the experience itself, I'd probably rate it about a seven and a half out of 10. Question of the day. Is YouTube your full-time job? Yes, it is. I do sort of do event photography still on the weekends, but it just takes up a lot of like the planning and stuff and making sure that you're at the events on time and everything. Like that's like one thing. And then YouTube, like I spend so much time like planning, filming, editing. A lot of people don't actually know how much effort and how much time goes into these videos. And like the reality is it takes me like days to make these videos. So I haven't done an event in a while and it's probably a good thing because like there have been a few events where I actually haven't attended them and I've done videos on this before. It's just like the worst feeling in the world. Imagine having like a 21st birthday party or an engagement party or something like that where you really wanna get good photos at it and then the photographer just doesn't rock up. That's what I've done before, multiple times. So I've just realized that, okay, this needs to go away, YouTube, full effect. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again, and I'll catch you next time.